Now, I'm not a full-time working cowboy or anything like that, but I come from the old school where you say you had to earn your cowboy hat. Well, I did a lot of riding, but it's been many years ago. There's a lot about being a cowboy I'm sure I don't really know. But I tried calf up at one time. My calf come out and shoot like a bat out of hell. And then my horse bolted out and was right on his tail. I swing a good loop, and my horse took a sharp left, and he took us off course. Well, my horse cut left, I let go of the rope and grabbed the saddle horn, and my loop fell down, I rubbed my own horse. <laughs> well, I've been some roundups, well, if I do only one more, that will make two. Let me tell you my roundup story to you. We got my roundup, and I had that last little doggy right in the crowd. I feel really good about having done so well. Well, I had to get off my horse to close the gate, and I did. I tripped fell down all these drafts and all these cuckaburs. I remember laying there thinking, boy, I hope all my cowboys didn't see that. So the truth is, somehow I tripped over my spurs. <laughs> we, we got them cattle separated in the working pen, just like old cowboy Joe said. We started working a little bull cast, castrating, doctoring, and branding each head. Now, I never heard such a ruckus and all the desperate cries. After that third calf, I realized why. I finally made myself open my eyes. We worked on them cattle that day. I went down with my old pickup truck and sat down and drank a few beers. But all I could do is reminisce about all them bulls that become little steers. Now, I'm not a full-time working cowboy or anything like that. You know what? I'm going to wear this damn hat. <laughs> That's a true story.